Welcome to Everyday Wines. I'm Carolyn Evans-Hammond, here to remind you, you don't need to spend a lot to get a great tasting wine. You just need to know which bottle to buy. Today's wine is a delicious wine from a winery that's taking good care of our planet. What's more, it's widely available, undervalued, and everything you want in an everyday wine. The wine I'm sharing with you today is this 2020 Boschendal 1685 Chardonnay from South Africa. What I love about this wine is it's not only great value, reliable and delicious, but the winery, Boschendal, upholds practices that take good care of the earth. Their shareholders in a glass recycling company and their bottles are created using 42% recycled glass. They can serve water through rainfall collection and water recycling. Their wines, including this one, are 100% plant-based, non-GMO and vegan friendly, and 40% of the energy the winery consumes is sourced from their solar panel systems. What's more, they pride themselves on ethical labor practices. So really, this is a wine you can feel good about selecting. Not bad for a wine that costs about $15 in the US and about $15 in Canada. So let's taste. In the glass, very shiny, very bright, which you'd expect. A swirl and a sniff. I love the fragrance of this wine. So you're getting the citrusy character you'd expect from Chardonnay, but there's more to it than that. You know, the citrusiness is not just, say, lemon. It's lemon, grapefruit, and orange zest. So lots going on there. And there's a little bit of steeliness too, which I like. It suggests a vibrancy, as well as the illusions you're going to get from the wood. Now this has spent some time in French oak, so you're getting a bit of spiciness, you're getting a little bit of toasted nut, maybe hazelnut. So lots going on on the nose, and that's fantastic for a wine at this price point. And on the palate, mm. love that. Sweeps in, this is a dry wine, almost savory. There's a twist of bitter orange, which is quite fetching. There's the nuttiness, yes, there's a dollop of cream somewhere, and yet it's all lifted by wonderful mouth-watering acidity. This is a complex wine, it's concentrated, it's, you know, it sweeps in and saturates the palate, and then lingers or persists on the finish, which bridges to whatever you're going to eat with it. And this is a fabulous, versatile wine at the table. So let's talk about what it's going to pair well with. So these are three great pairings for this wine. Starting with, you know, just a really well-made cheese sandwich with a good cheese. I've got smoked Gouda here and it's fantastic, but you could also have a ham and cheese sandwich. Now, the idea here is cheese works beautifully with this wine. There's enough weight, there's enough texture to stand up to it, and yet enough acidity to scrape the palate clean. So you could have macaroni and cheese, fettuccine Alfredo, or cheese sandwiches. Another idea, if you want to go upscale a little bit, have smoked salmon. I've got smoked salmon on um, potato latkes with a little bit of seasoned cream cheese, and it's beautiful with this wine. Smoked salmon and Chardonnay is a match made in heaven. The third idea, which is that easy, is potato chips. You want a salted, plain potato chip that's you know got lots of texture, lots of gnarled goodness. What I've got here is a good quality kettle cooked potato chip and fabulous with this wine. The toasty goodness sort of mirrors the toasty elements in the wine and you have a pairing. So 
So these are three great pairings that go with this wine. Are a winery's sustainability practices important to you? And do they guide your purchases these days? Let me know in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe and check out my new series, The Wine Find Talks, here on YouTube on the Access Luxury Channel.